Welcome to our executive interview series at Fed Talks presented by FedScoop. I'm Wyatt Cash with Scoop News Group, and we're here with Jennifer Ward, Vice President, Solution Engineering at Salesforce. Uh, Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'd like to start by asking, how do you see federal agencies prioritizing uh, the user experience in digital services? Yeah, I think agencies are doing a lot to prioritize user experience. I think things like the executive order on transforming federal customer experience and the great work that USDS is doing to help agencies prioritize user experience at the front end of a modernization effort, I think those things are paying off. And we're actually seeing that in the data as well. So for two years in a row, we've seen an uptick in positive sentiment of customer satisfaction according to the AACSI. Uh, and in particular, um, positive sentiment around website quality. Not as much um, when it comes to evaluating government process and access to information. Um, so I think what's going on here is that agencies are doing a great job on modernizing digital intake. So if you picture a form, filling out a form, and now you can do it online and it's super intuitive, it's easy, it's fast, it works great. So I think agencies are doing a really good job at modernizing that, that front end intake process. And where they're gonna go from here is what happens when the citizen submits that form. And the, on the back end, the agency needs to evaluate, review, adjudicate, investigate, fulfill that request. So that process, that system that, that federal workers to use to support that process, those are much more complex. Um, and there's a lot of opportunity to modernize and find efficiencies and additional productivity there. So I think that is where we'll go next. And the other thing I've noticed is that when we um, modernize those intake services, often we're doing it in stovepipes. So you're modernizing this service and it works great and this service and this service. But when um, what really forms the full picture of the relationship between the citizen and the agency is how all those interactions work together. So, um, you know, I know on the back end there's probably dozen stovepipe legacy systems that are each supporting one of those processes individually and agencies can't necessarily they don't necessarily have the resources to modernize them all at once but there are modern tools like data cloud that allow you to automatically harmonize and create a, a citizen profile a unified profile from all of those different interactions and that common profile that that common picture of the of the citizen is important because it contributes to the user experience because for the for the citizen a lot of those processes are interrelated. So you can form that profile, harmonize the data, and then actually take action to move the processes forward and provide that data as it's needed in any operational um, situation as you're going through those processes. So we're making a lot of progress in terms of uh, modernizing user experience and we're we have a lot of areas to continue in as well. And then next, um, where are you starting to see the use of AI making a material difference in improving the customer experience for the American citizen? Yeah, I think that question builds on what we were just talking about, and I love your use of the word material there, um, because I see today a lot of agencies are using things like chatbots to do natural language processing and you know defer standard questions and provide basic status updates, which is, which is great, really. And at scale, it makes a big difference. But in the future and as we go forward, I think generative AI has a huge potential to impact uh, productivity and efficiency and make customer service uh, a much better experience. So I think agencies will adopt generative AI along a maturity model, beginning with embedded AI embedded in service. So earlier we were talking about what happens once a citizen submits information. What does the agency have to do to process that information, to evaluate it, to, to fulfill that request? Um, and then there's a lot of opportunity for efficiency there. Here's where that embedded AI can really help. So embedded AI can do things like automatically create a case and route it to the right team and classify it and um, you know, create case summaries that automatically you know, tell you, you know, when a case is ready to close out, they create a summary or really any time in the process. You can also do things like automatically generate replies to customer inquiries. So I think that's the first step. And then where agencies will go from there is more custom AI um, scenarios that can really tackle more complex scenarios and you know, using AI with trusted data will really allow them to get to those more complex scenarios. And when I'm talking about custom AI, I'm really not talking about creating custom models. 
And I know agencies are doing this. They're creating their own LLM models, they're um, fine tuning models, and that's great because a lot of the magic does happen in the LLM models, but uh, in the large language models. But it's also time consuming and expensive uh, to fine tune and test, and there is sort of persistent reliability issues. So as an alternative, you can use prompt engineering to unlock that trusted data and provide it as context to the LLM. And what we found is that you can get much more accurate results. Um, those, you know, it's much easier to do and set up and you can do it with clicks, not code. Um, and so how it works is you can engineer a prompt to use things like semantic search to automatically find the relevant data, both structured and unstructured data, that can be provided as context and instruction to the LLM. So then you get that more accurate response. It doesn't become stale as soon as the data you know, changes, as, is, as happens with training LLMs. Um, and you get that performance that you're looking for while keeping your data in a system that is secure and understands concepts like data access control. So you're really getting the best of both worlds there. Um, so the benefit of the LLM, of the um, generative AI, uh, but without having to do all that uh, investment. And it allows you to get at those, at those use cases that are you know, much more complex and involve policy and eligibility and specific federal data. And from there, I think we'll move into autonomous agents. So you'll be seeing AI that can actually do work and take action with guardrails, of course. Um, but I think that's the next step in that maturity model and where, where we'll go from there. So, so much potential to impact customer service with AI, and I, I really can't wait to see what this year brings. Well, Jennifer Ward, thank you for sharing your perspective, not only on the importance of prompt engineering, uh, but where that's taking us and kind of what you're seeing on the near-term horizon. So thank you so much for joining us here at FedTalks. Yeah, thank you again.